Our present and our future will be happier if we are always conscious of the future. As we make current decisions, we should always be asking, where will this lead? More common are those choices between one action or another. These include choices between good or evil, but more frequently they're choices between two goods. Here too it's desirable to ask where this will lead. We make many choices between two goods, often involving how we will spend our time. There's nothing bad about playing video games, or texting, or watching TV, or talking on a cell phone. But each of these involves what is called opportunity cost, meaning that if we spend time doing one thing, we lose the opportunity to do another. I'm sure you can see that we need to measure thoughtfully what we are losing by spending the time we spend on one activity, even if it is perfectly good in itself. Some time ago, I gave a talk titled, Good, Better, or Best. In that talk, I said that just because something is good is not a sufficient reason for doing it. The number of good things we can do far exceeds the time available to accomplish them. Some things are better than good, and these are the things that should command priority attention in our lives. We have to forego some good things in order to do others that are better or best. Take the long view. What's the effect on our future of the decisions we make in the present? Remember the importance of getting an education, studying the gospel, renewing our covenants by partaking of the sacrament and attending the temple. Where will this lead is also important in choosing how we label or think of ourselves. Most importantly, each of us is a child of God with a potential destiny of eternal life. Every other label, even including occupation, race, physical characteristics, or honors, is temporary or trivial in eternal terms. Don't choose to label yourselves or think of yourselves in terms that put a limit on a goal for which you might strive. We make countless choices in life, some large and some seemingly small. Looking back, we can see what a great difference some of our choices made in our lives. We make better choices, decisions, if we look at the alternatives and ponder where they will lead. As we do, we'll be following President Russell M. Nelson's counsel to begin with the end in mind. For us, the end is always on the covenant path through the temple to eternal life, the greatest of all the gifts of God.